Good morning, Cornell. I'm MJ Smith with your special report. The seniors had an award ceremony yesterday where they were recognized for their academic achievement and communal contributions over this past year. Now, I'll send it over to Dr. Zicoli. Hi, everyone. I am Dr. Zicoli, principal of Cornell High School. We are here today to recognize a group of seniors and highlight some of their accomplishments and successes during this school year. We are all extremely proud and excited of these students as the challenges they faced this school year were unlike any other. Your hard work, dedication, and positive attitude have made it possible for you to be recognized here today. Congratulations to all our scholarship winners. At this time, we will be presenting the Foch Fazio Scholarship. The Foch Fazio Scholarship was established 12 years ago to award $2,500 to a graduating Cornell senior. On behalf of the family, Norma, Chris, and Vince Fazio, and a very clear family friend, Steve Bogner, we are honored to present this scholarship. It is always a joy to be part of something special at Cornell High School. Foz Fazio was a student at Coriopolis High School since his parents owned a local grocery store on Chess Street. After graduating from the University of Pittsburgh, he started teaching at his high school alma mater and was also a football coach. From his hometown beginnings, he later worked his way to coach at the college level, becoming head coach at Pitt in the mid 80s. Continuing his hard work, he had a very successful career as an NFL coach over 20 years with the Falcons, Jets, Vikings, and Browns. He always loved Coriopolis, and through the scholarship, the family is able to honor Foge and his hometown. We are proud of all the accomplishments of this year's applicant and wish you continued success in the future. Now, it is with great pride to announce this year's winner, the Foge Fazio Memorial Scholarship winner is Brandon Spencer. Congratulations, Brandon. So. Now we're going to pan to a video uh, and introduce Eugene Shuley, a representative from Quest Tech, to present the Mark Stainbrook Memorial Technology Scholarship. Greetings everyone at Cornell School District. My name is Eugene Shuley. I represent Quest Tech. Quest Tech has been a proud partner of Cornell for many, many years. Today I'm here to award a scholarship. And you know, this past year has been difficult for all of us. So for me and everyone here at Quest Tech, this award has such special meaning because we're here to celebrate. This year's 2021 Mark Stainbrook Memorial Technology Award goes out to someone who is so deserving, who represented the district, her teachers, and most importantly, her family. Hannah Bassetti. Congratulations on the award. We here at Quest Tech want to wish not only him, but all the graduating class, best wishes and God bless as you move forward in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Hannah. Today we are excited to announce the seventh recipient for the Peter Bartolomucci Scholarship. Before we announce our recipient, we wanted to give you a little background on who Peter Bartolomucci is. Peter was a graduate of Cornell in 2013. Throughout his high school career here at Cornell, he participated in track and field, basketball, and football. During his senior year, he injured his back playing football. I'm sure you can imagine what happened next. His doctor prescribed him pain pills, but once his prescription ran out, he turned to a cheaper alternative to take his back pain away, heroin. After battling with a heroin addiction for about two years, he attended rehab where he got himself clean for three months. The Monday before Thanksgiving in November of 2015, Peter decided to do heroin one more time. Well, that one more time got him and immediately ended his life. We knew he wanted to keep his memory alive, especially here at Cornell. Cornell played a big role in Peter's life. This is where he found his love for sports, made lifelong friendships, and spent most of his time. We began the Peter Bartolomucci Scholarship immediately after he passed and have been awarding it to a graduate senior for six years now. Thanks to fundraising and donations, we're honored to be able to give this scholarship to our seventh recipient. So without further ado, 
The seventh recipient for the Peter Bartolomucci $1,000 scholarship is Gabrielle Joyce. Congratulations. And now we will pan to a video to present the West Aircom FCU Scholarship. Welcome Mrs. Terry Hupp. Hello everyone, I am Terry Hupp, manager of the Moon Township branch of West Aircom Federal Credit Union. It is my privilege to virtually present the West Aircom Federal Credit Union serving the community scholarship. This scholarship program is designed to award deserving students with a $500 scholarship in recognition of not only their academic achievement, but also their dedication to improving their community. I am honored to present this scholarship to this deserving senior, Zachary Kasmerik. Best of luck to all the graduating seniors on your future endeavors. Congratulations. Congratulations, Zach. Thank you. Uh, the next recognition we're gonna acknowledge is the Challenge Program. The Challenge Program and business partner Arlanxio send their congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. The Challenge Program is a program for all students in grades 10, 11, and 12, building sustainable business educational partnerships. These partnerships introduce students to career opportunities in their communities and encourage the solid work habits required for success. We hope we have been able to raise your awareness about local employment opportunities, different paths to careers, and how the Challenge Program's five categories relate to success in the workplace. Through the support of Orlanxio, five seniors are receiving $200 awards in one of the Challenge Program's award categories. Please note that a check for $200 is enclosed in the award packet you'll receive today. The Challenge Program and Orlanxio send their appreciation to the school's administration, staff, teachers for participating and motivating the students to perform at their highest level and for your perseverance throughout another difficult year. And now, here are the names of the Challenge Program Senior Award recipients made possible by Arlanxio. Hello from the Challenge Program and congratulations to all 2021 graduates. We at TCP partner schools with businesses and motivate students to develop good habits required for success and introduce you to local job opportunities. Through the support of your business partner, we're here to award five graduating seniors with a $200 check in our five award categories. Congratulations on all of your achievements despite all of the challenges you were faced with this year. The future looks bright with students like you. And now, here are the names of the Challenge Program Award recipients. And our Challenge Program Award winner for the category of attendance is Kaylee Mankowski. Congratulations, Kaylee. Thank you. And our award winner for the Challenge Program in the category of community service is Nico Piccolo. And our Challenge Program Award winner for academic improvement is Jakira Robinson. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. And our Challenge Program Award winner for the category of STEM is Jersey Thomas. Congratulations. And our Challenge Program Award winner for academic excellence is Zachary Kazmarek. Congratulations, Zachary. Good job. At this time, we will be recognizing the winner of the NEED Scholarship. The NEED Scholarship is a special leadership award given to an African-American high school senior 
that demonstrates leadership and excellence through academic achievement and extracurricular activities, including a commitment to community service. This year's winner not only possesses commendable qualities, but also maintains near perfect grades while being involved in numerous sports and volunteering with the local fire department. I am pleased to announce the winner of the NEED Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Mr. Brandon Spencer. Congratulations, Brandon. So I do want to take a minute to congratulate all of these students that we're going to recognize today as they rose above the challenges they faced throughout this school year. We want to congratulate all of our seniors and wish them the best of luck in the future. Make your light shine bright and become overachievers. This concludes this special report. MJ Smith, signing off.